Okay, welcome back. This is video part three for how to make a Terra Recon a cow reconstructions from CT angiograms of the head. We already showed how to make the 3D cow with bone, and we were processing the 3D cow without bone, and we we're getting ready to film it out. So we're getting ready to film out this 3D cow without bone. So whereas the with bone, we used the batch 3D to film out, for the without bone, for both the 3D and for the MIP cow we're going to show you next, we're going to use a different tool. We're going to use, it's called the batch tool, which is this one over here, batch tool. You can get to it by uh, hitting F8, or you can right click and say uh, batch wizard, batch wizard. So click batch wizard, and then you get this. Click the one that says radial, and then you always start from the uh, anterior view for these batch wizards, and then so first let's spin it up. Let's move it up, so click the up, the superior to inferior view. Be sure you have these numbers filled in, 36 steps, 360 degrees, and hit the current field of view so it doesn't shrink them. And then you can send it to the patient list. You can give it a name. This would be um, 3D cow without bone. And then um, hit preview to make sure it stays on there and then go to the output. Maybe we'd drag that back a little bit to make it fit a little bit better, adjust it a little bit. Make sure that everything looks good on your, your preview. And then hit output, which will send it to the patient list. All right, then, um, now we're gonna spin it the other way. We spun it from superior to inferior. Now we're gonna spin it from, the, always like, start with the anterior view again, and we're gonna spin it towards the, over there towards the right. So if we, uh, let's, this time we'll hit F8. We'll open it up, we'll hit that radial recon again. And this time we're gonna spin it this way, hit that button, all those things will be saved. Hit the preview and uh, make sure that it's all fitting on the screen, that the, it's full, it's almost filling the screen, it's windows are good, tweak it as needed, and then, and then hit the output to send it to the patient list. And then we're done with that. Now, all we have to do is change this to the MIP. We always have the bone, already have all the bones, we have everything cut. So we just go to, do, to these green letters up here. Anything with a green letter can be right clicked on and changed. So look for these green letters and where it says 3D, right click on that and change it to MIP. Okay, and then when you change it to MIP, do not panic when all the bones and the cuts come back. All you have to do is go down to this next one where it says slab eight, change that to right click on that and say full. And then uh, all your things go back on there. Now the windows aren't great here, so down here on the CTA presets, those are usually pretty good. See down here, click on the little tab that says CTA, bottom right, and um, it gets pretty close. Then let's let's window and level that and just tweak it to make it as good as possible. So I kind of like that. You want to emphasize, always when you're trying to window, look at this M, this middle cerebral artery, and make that show as good as you can. Okay, so now I think we're ready to film this out. So we can use the batch wizard again, batch wizard. And let's um, do radio reconstructions. Always start from the anterior view for these batch wizards. And let's go up first. There, it remembered everything. We'll hit preview, make sure it's staying on there. That's pretty good. Maybe we could make it a little smaller, maybe move back a little bit, but those look, that looks pretty good. So then you hit the output and send it, or you have to change, you'd have to change the name to MIP cow. And then hit the output to send it to the patient list. All right, and then we'll be done with that one. And then all we have to do now is spin it right to left. So we can uh, just F8 to open that up, uh, to open up the batch wizard again, hit radials. We spun it, what, up this time? So now always spin it towards the right. So start with the anterior, you spin it towards the right. And then all of our settings are the same and we'll hit preview to take a look at it. And that's gonna look uh, real good. We're looking at a one-on-one, -on -one, so when we uh, send it to PAX, we're looking at maybe four-on-one, it'll look even clearer. All right, and that's done. So um, then we would hit the output to send it. And that's it, so we've, we showed how to make the 3D cow with bone, then, the, then use the automatic bone or uh, removal tool that had neck one to make a 3D cow um, without bone and then we just change it to MIP full to make a MIP cow. And so we should have five series that we sent and we could send those to PAX. And that is all.